have so many talented teens here in Irving, and one way for them to showcase their talent is at the Friday Night Live competition held at the Irving Arts Center. Let's take a look. Well, today we're just holding auditions, so we get to see different people show off their talent, and well, they have the guts too. This is just the audition part. This is for the people of Irving, and what it is that we have quite a bit of talent here, and we have some good talent. And the youth council and the people that's on staff, they try to put, pick out a good entertaining show for the people of Irving. And, you know, we love all the stands to be packed. You know, that's something, you know, we're looking forward to, but we also want to have a good show. Well, what's happening today is that we have a group of kids, uh, youth, they're coming in and they're just giving us their best shot right now. And uh, the youth council and Christine Warlaw, they're going to choose uh, some acts. And hopefully they're good acts and we're going to put, put together a good show for the Friday Night Live. There's always something new and interesting to see. It's not always the same show going on every year. It's always something new. I sing anything from singing, and there's bands, there's dancing, and then there's comedians. There's basically everything, like any normal talent show. Basically. The name of our group was Take Them On. Uh, it's because we were doing, uh, we were covering this band called Black Rebel Motorcycle Club or as a lot of people like to call them BRMC. So um, they would always use the phrase, take them on. I think I did good. I messed up one or two times. I could hear myself messing up, but I, I think I did pretty good. And um, if I didn't, that's for the judges to decide, isn't it? You know, um, I've been performing since third grade. I'm in sixth grade now. Um, uh, I learned guitar whenever I was in second grade, then went to bass guitar, and then my dad bought us a drum set this Christmas, and it's, <laughs> it's been pretty fun with that. I'm one of those rock band players and guitar heroes, so um, what I did was I recognized the sounds from that, and then um, put them onto a real drum set watching people play it from behind them, and then I sort of picked up their movements and what they were doing, and I put that into my own knowledge, and then uh, got better at it from there on. I grew up listening to bands like the Beatles because my family was revolving around that and music became a part of my life. Yeah, it is my first time. Well, I was kind of nervous because I thought I wouldn't do that good. That's why I decided like just to look at my lyrics again and look it up before I go and perform and I did great. I think I, sh I should have put more creativity and hard work and energy in it but I tried my best and even with the worst I tried and I did great. But in, when we do the real show, I have a feeling I'll put more creativity and have work and energy in it. And hip hop is more about heritage, culture, and the struggles that people experience like in everyday life. When I heard that you could perform in front of a lot of people, I thought that's a good idea because that's what I always wanted to do. I always wanted to make music and just express myself better. Speaking. Who can we are Attack of the Prog, we're an improv troupe. Um, what it, we do is we take suggestions from the audience and then we act on it. We actually got a routine actually down just 10 minutes before we audition. Whether you're just in the audience enjoying a really good show or if you're on stage making the show good, I mean it's fun for everybody. Um, well for the ones that auditioned, well, we just tell them that we'll call them up and tell them what we thought of their act. And it's always something good, it's nothing to be afraid of, basically. Uh, and then that's when we tell them, hey, you made it or not, and that takes a line one to two weeks or so. 